Hello everyone, welcome to day 67 of my Isako log. So day 67 was actually yesterday, and I actually finished this problem yesterday. I wasn't able to get my solution to work, although the main problem was just the uh, syntax, and I didn't really know how that was supposed to work. Um, yeah, so... I basically looked up the official solution and then I saw that it was basically the exact same thing as mine, so I'll take this one as a win. Um, Alright, so this problem is from Leet Code, number 1314, matrix block sum. So Basically, given that you have a m times n matrix called mat and an integer k, return a matrix answer where each answer, ij, is the sum of all elements mat rc for um, r is between i minus k and i plus k, c is between j minus k and j plus k, and r comma c is a valid position in the matrix. So um, I guess the idea of the problem is basically k is kind of like the half um, length of a square or a block and then you need to use k to draw a square around every single cell and then add up all of the numbers within that block and then that will be what you output so basically like for um, the top left um, zero zero you'll have like adding up every single number from zero zero to the bottom right which would be k comma k. So I think this problem is actually pretty easy and that's how it's rated. So um, here's how you actually do it. Basically uh, this would be better with a, with a visualization because this looks kind of confusing actually if you don't think about it too much but you know since I thought about it the idea is basically if you're, if you're on the top left, let's say this is the top left, this is the bottom right, then k, let's say, is this much, then you want to add up every number from here, the top left, to here, in this box of, um, of basically k length. And then if you were in the middle, you would go k both ways, and then also up and down. So you would add up the whole thing, the whole block of um, 2k length so that would be a square and you would basically use a 2d prefix sum for this problem so I hope that makes sense to you uh, it makes sense to me so I'll just continue so in this problem you actually just have to return a a vector of vectors of integers and it gives you the starting um, mat vector, 2D vector, and also the integer k. So first of all we need n and m. So n equals mat dot size, so n is like I'm pretty sure just um, the height and then m is like across basically. Or the the width. Alright. Yeah, and that's actually what it says here, m times n. Actually, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure m is horizontal, n is the vertical height. Anyway, first of all, we need to put our numbers into the vector of vectors. Actually, we don't need n plus 1 here. But it works. Okay, so 
first of all, we need to make a vector of vectors of integers called nums, or you can call it anything else, but basically the idea here is we just want to push everything inside of um, mat into here. So why do we do this? I'm not actually sure. I'm pretty sure you'll get an error or something if you don't do this, but um, the solution did it this way, so I'm just going to not question it. Although I'm pretty sure this is unnecessary. Um, not too sure though, so um, it looks kind of redundant actually. But I guess um, now we have it in our nums vector. Then we need to create our prefix sums vector of vectors. So how we do that is basically, first of all, we fill in all of the values with zero. And also note that um, this has a size of n plus 1 and then m plus 1 in the other dimension. And then we do our basic prefix sum deal here, where we set it equal to the up value plus the left value, and then subtract the lower or the upper right, upper left, and then add on the upper left of the numbers array. So that should give us our prefix sum 2D array, and there it is. Um, then we have our answer vector, which we're going to return. So very basic. We go from 1 to less than or equal to n, and then we go from 1 to less than or equal to m for this inner core loop. And we also have to set up our vector for this particular layer of the um, iteration, I guess. So this will be called curve, standing for current. And then we'll have x1 and y1. So x1, y1 will be the top left. So they will be the maximum between 1 and i minus k, and then y1 will be the maximum between 1 and j minus k. This ensures that um, they're not outside of the range. So I hope that makes sense. Like this will ensure x1 and y1 are not like going negative, such that it will be outside of the prefix sums array. And uh, you might be wondering why are we not doing zero instead? Well, basically. Uh, when we do our actual calculation for the block sum, um, <coughs> we'll be doing minus 1 to the top left corner for every single uh, thing that contains x1 or y1. So there will be no problem. And this lets you visualize it in a way that's kind of like just looking at the prefix sums. So I hope that makes sense. Or it's kind of like looking at it from a 1 index instead of a 0 index kind of way. Like you're looking at the original array and then you can see based on the 1 index that oh we're going from here to here in this block. So we'll just do the regular value for the bottom right which is going to be minimum between n and i plus k, and then y2 will be minimum between m and j plus k. So um, we don't have to do anything here like n minus 1 because when we do when we do the thinking in the 1 index, this is actually the correct value for the prefix sum index as well. It's only the top left, which has to be shifted up and to the left. So then we push back the current vector. Oh, wait, no, uh, this line. We push back 
this block sum into the current vector and then after the whole um, row is done we'll push back the whole row into the answer vector and then we'll return it after everything's done and that will be the correct answer also um, main point is basically just we're going to think in a one index uh, or one based index we'll start at one and we'll go to n or m at the bottom right and then we can do our block sum with the minus one for the bottom or the for the top left <coughs> so yeah that's how you solve this problem thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys next time